In the previous video, we saw that we could use iProgress to report the progress of a set of asynchronous tasks. And here in this select, we are using iProgress in the following way. After we finish this task, we make some calculation and then we report the progress. Now, maybe this is not something that you want to do this way, because say that you have 1 million tasks to run, then you will have to do this operation 1 million times, and you will have to report progress 1 million times. That may be a little bit exaggerated, and it may not be in your best interest to do this, because it could hurt the performance of your application, especially if this calculation here, heavy or slow. So what can we do? Another thing we could do is to, instead of reporting every time we finish a task, we can report periodically, like every one second or every two seconds or something like that. How can we do that? For that we can use task when any. Let's see that. I will comment this out because we won't need this anymore and I will also comment this out and let's go down here to the task when all code and let's see something. We know that we are waiting for this to finish and instead of awaiting this, I want to do the following. I want to say if progress is different than null, because you know that progress could be null, this could be null, therefore we have to take that into account, I want to do something. I want to have two tasks running, which are this task that is the completion of all the processing tasks that do the processing of the card, and another task that is just a task.delay, which means that it is just waiting. And what we're going to do is that periodically we're going to check if this has finished and if it hasn't, we're going to report progress. So let's see how we can do that. We're going to say while because we want to repeat some code until a condition is not met anymore. And we're going to say await and then we're going to say task. And then I will say when any. When any means that we're going to have a list of tasks here and we're going to return the first task that finishes. This is different from when all, because when all only returns when all of the tasks has finished. But in the case of when any, we only return the first task that finish. So what we're going to pass here, we're going to say responses, and I want to change the name of this variable to response tasks, and I will change this here. And then I want to say task.delay, let's say whatever time we want. For example, time span from seconds, I will say one second. And then we're going to say is different than response tasks. So what are we doing here? And we're missing a parenthesis here. So what are we doing here? We're saying task when any, and we're passing these two tasks, which are response tasks which is a representation of the resolution of all the HTTP requests that we have to send to our web API. And we have this second task, which is just a task delay, which is going to return after one second, as we can see here. If we return this task, the task delay one, then this task that we have here is going to be different than this task that we have here, which is the one that represents all the HTTP requests. And in that case, this will evaluate to true because they are different. And here we can report the progress. Basically what we're doing here is that every one second we're going to report progress. And once this finishes, then this is going to be the task that is going to be returned from this when any, because when any returns the first task that finishes, then we will exit this while, this while loop that we have here. So now here I can say, completed tasks, I need to calculate how many of these tasks that we have here, of this list of tasks that we have here have finished. So let's say tasks.where, and we're going to say is completed because a task can be completed, canceled, or faulted. In my case, I want completed, and I will say count, and then I will calculate a percentage, just like we did before, percentage equal to double completed task divided by task.count then percentage equal to percentage times 100 then we're going to cast this as an int int math.round percentage 
and zero decimals, and this should be percentage int. And finally, we're going to say progress report percentage int. And in this way, this block of code that we have here, and this should be percentage int, this block of code that we have here is only going to be run once a second, and therefore we are only going to report progress once a second, which is way more efficient than when we had this code here, so that if we had a million tasks, then we were going to report progress one million times. Now finally, we need a responses, and what can we do? We need to extract this array of HTTP response messages from this task. Well, but we already know how to do that. For that, we have to say responses equal to await responses tasks. Now, you may notice something, and it is that we are awaiting responses task twice. We are awaiting it here in this task when any, and then we are awaiting it here one more time. Does that mean that we are going to run all of the HTTP requests twice? No, it doesn't, because as we saw here, tasks has a property that says if they are completed. And the await operator knows that if a task is completed, then it doesn't have to do anything and it will just continue to run the next line of code without suspending the execution of the current thread. Which means that awaiting a task twice does not mean it is going to run twice. So we can do this without any issues. And then our code continues as normal. So let's see this. Let's press Ctrl F5 to run our application. And let's go here and let's click on start. And after one second, we're going to get some progress after another second, another second, and another second. And as you can see, we have this progress. Let's make something, let's make a change. Let's go back here. And let's say every, instead of every one second, we want to change this. We want to report this every two seconds. And also I want to reduce this amount just so we have more time to observe our progress bar. So let's press Ctrl F5 to run our application. And let's click on start. And let's say one and two, one and two, one and two. And as you can see, every two seconds, we are getting some report, which means that with when any, we have a method that is going to return the first task that finishes. And we are applying that to have a mechanism that allows us to report progress periodically which is more efficient than having to report progress for every item in our list of tasks.